Okay, folks, this morning what I want to talk about is a Honeywell Pro 4000 thermostat. This is a programmable thermostat. It's five and two, five work days, the weekend mode right here, okay? It's one heat, one cool. It's for conventional, meaning air handler and condenser, gas, oil, and condenser and heat pump okay this is actually a nice thermostat it's got the five-year limited warranty and here's the model number I'm just going to point this out TH41 10D1007 so if you ever have any question you just give us a call next thing I want to talk about is here's the thermostat I just pulled it out of the box okay first thing you want to do is look at it and decide here do I have gas or oil is my heat strip electric or do I have a heat pump in this particular case here in South Florida we have a electric heat so I'm just gonna flip it to electric for you guys more up north we'll just leave it to where it was at gas or oil now I'm gonna turn it around excuse me I'm gonna put my batteries in it Flip it on electric. Now I'm going to go right here. Now, as I look at this, I'm going to leave this in the off position and I'm going to set my clock. Okay, at this particular time. At this particular time, it is uh, 829, okay? We're just going to make it 8.30. All right, set. The day. Today is Tuesday. Set. Okay, now we're going to talk about the actual schedule. I want you to notice this thing right here. This is the wake schedule, and it's got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. What time do I wake up? Okay, yeah, I wake up at 6 o'clock every morning, so I'm going to set it. 6 a.m. What temperature do I want it to be when I get up? I want it to set at 75, so I'm just going to set it. Okay, now I leave. I'm going to be gone all day long, and I won't get back till 5 or 6 o'clock. So I'm going to turn the thermostat down. I'm sorry. Let me go back up. I leave at 8 o'clock in the morning, so I'm going to set it. Now what temperature do I want it to be when I leave? I'm going to set my house at 78, and I'm going to set it. Now, once you see this return, what time do you return? I would recommend setting these thermostats about an hour before you get back. So let's say you return at 6, you want to turn it to 5 o'clock. It all depends on owner's preference. Nobody is the same. 5 o'clock, set. I want it at 75 when I get home. I'm setting it. Okay, now I'm going to sleep. What time do I normally go to sleep? I like to turn my thermostat down about an hour before I go to bed. So I'm going to turn it down to 9, 9 p.m. You notice this is all Monday through Friday on everything we're doing. Everything is Monday through Friday. Okay? I'm going to set it. What temperature do I want it? Sometimes I put it on 75, sometimes 74. We'll just go for 74 for class purposes. Set. Okay, now we're at the weekend schedule. I'm waking up on Saturday morning, 6 a.m. I'm just going to leave mine at 75. Okay, I'm going to leave it at 75. Okay, now let's talk about leave. Do I leave during the weekend? Eh, I'm in and out, whatever. I'm just going to turn it back to 6. And I'm going to set it. Now I'm going to turn the thermostat down to 75. Now I'm going to set it. Okay, now here's return. I'm, I'm not leaving and returning, so I'm going to leave it. I'm just going to leave it at 6 a.m. Set. 75. Set. Sleep. I'm just going to hit set. 
thermostat. I'm going to turn it back down to 74 since I'm sleeping. Set. Now in, here's port. Let's let that in go on its own. You see how it took about three or four seconds? Now we have programmed the actual thermostat for the weekend mode and for the uh, working mode through the week. Now we're going to program the thermostat itself. We're going to flip it to cool. Okay. Now I'm going to point out these directions to you. In your instruction manual, if you have these, just go to page six, and it's pretty easy. It's called Installer Setup. Okay. I want you to notice how he puts the two fingers on the two arrows. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to take the, our two fingers. I've got it on cool, and I'm going to put my two fingers right here. Let me try to. Well, I usually put two fingers like this, but let me just do it this way. And I'm going to hold it for a few seconds. And that goes to one. Now I'm going to let it go. And I'm going to look at my instructions. Okay, do I have gas, oil, or electric with air conditioning? I do. So my number one, it'll be set to zero. Okay, if I had a heat pump, I would just take this lower air and I just go down one. But I know here in southwest Florida, we just have heat strips. Okay, now I'm going to go to nine. It's, this will automatically flip for you. One, nine, nine is three. Okay, so I'm going to flip it to cool. Now I'm going to take my two fingers. I just want you to notice the, the direction says put both fingers on the up and down arrow. That's what you have to do to get to the next program, okay? That's very important. Some people have a problem figuring it out. So I'm going to take my two fingers. I'm going to hold it. I want you to see how this changes. Okay, now I'm in the next program. Now what I want you to look here is I've actually initialed off which programs we go through here. The first step is number one. One, zero. Do I have a gas, oil, electric, heat, or air conditioning? I have electric heat. So my first stage is number one. One, zero. If I had a heat pump, I would just push the down arrow to go to one, one. Okay, I know I've got this. So I'm going to go up. Five. Okay, number five says it's for gas, oil, furnaces. Okay, I know I have electric. So mine's going to be number nine. Okay? Read these instructions, guys. It's not difficult. So I'm going to go to nine. Okay, I'm set. Now I'm going to go back to the top arrow. Okay, I'm at nine. Stage nine is three recommended for most compressors. So I'm going to leave my nine at three. I'm good with that. I'm going to go to the next program. I'm going to hit the top arrow. Thirteen. I'm going to look at this, 13, Adaptive Intelligence Recovery, we're going to put that off, okay? You do not want this, because if you leave it in the own position, you're just going to ask yourself for problems down the road, okay? So I'm going to go to zero, zero. I'm going to go to my top arrow again, 14. What does 14 say? Do I want Fahrenheit, or do I want Celsius? In, in the United States, we want Fahrenheit, so we're good. I'm going to go to the next program. 15.5. This is the five-minute compressor shutoff. This is an event you have a power surge, a power failure. You shut your consistent on and off. Sometimes these renters, these homeowners, people just get in and play it, and they don't realize the damage they do to the compressor. So it kicks it off for five minutes. I want to leave it at five minutes. Now, I want to point this out. You're going to see this 30, and you're going to see this 70. This is for your technicians. Do not touch anything. Just go right past the program, okay? 70, right past the program. I'm done. Now I'm just going to take my two fingers once again, and I'm going to hold it. All right, now I am done. I am done with this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to always leave my fan in the auto position, and in this case, I'm going to leave it in cool. Let's say you come into the house and you want to, you got a bunch of company, you want to go to uh, 70 degrees. You just want to turn this down to 70 degrees and you're going to hit set. Excuse me. You're going to hit hold.
Okay. You see that flashing light? That means the thing's working on five minutes here. Okay. So if you got any questions on how a Pro 4000 thermostat works, you have any programming issues, just give us a call at Jones Air Conditioning, 239-596-5855. Go to jonesairconditioning.com. And if you like this, please share, please subscribe, and please comment. Thank you.